Welcome to another video. We're going to be talking about the inverse of a square matrix. Well, the square matrix is redundant because only square matrices have inverses because of the commutative property in this definition. So, what is the inverse of a matrix? Given a matrix A, if A inverse is the inverse of A, then this is true. The product of A and its inverse is equal to the switched version, the inverse of A times A, and it's equal to the identity matrix for that dimension. So if we're dealing with, for example, a two by two matrix, then this would be the identity matrix for two by two matrices, which is gonna be um, just a matrix like this with ones in these positions and zeros in every other position, not on the main diagonal. Remember, the main diagonal is that diagonal that starts from the very first entry to the very last entry along this line. This is not a main diagonal. It doesn't have a special name. We don't talk about it. It's Bruno. I'm going to use this exercise to show you how to compute the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. And then we're going to have a formula generated from that. And from that, I can show you that it only works for a two by two matrix. So the formula should be something you have handy anytime you want to do work on two by two matrices, but you cannot use that formula for bigger matrices like a three by three or four by four. So in computing the determinant of or any determinant, you could do what I'm about to do, but you could do it in a better way. What is called in some schools or some countries from first principles. Let's get into it. Going by the definition that I have here, that if A inverse is the inverse of A, then A times A inverse must be equal to I. Let's see what that looks like using this example. So we have, unfortunately, we don't know what the matrix is, but we're gonna represent the entries as A, B, C, and D. But we know if we multiply them, we're gonna get the identity matrix for two by two. So what can we do? Well, we'll just do what we know how to do. Remember, we don't know the formula yet. So let's do what we know how to do, which is multiplication. When we multiply, you take the first row and multiply the first column. So one times A plus two times C, and that's what goes here. So we're gonna say that A plus two times C, two C is equal to one. We've got one equation. Now, because I wanna deal with A and C only, let's take the second row because we wanna deal with A and C. So we're gonna take the second row and multiply the first column, that's what goes here. So it's gonna be minus three A and then I have plus four C is equal to the result is zero. Now we can quickly solve this equation using algebra, um, no matrices yet, okay? If we quickly solve this equation, what do we have? Well, I can subtract three of this from this equation. No, add three of this to this. If I add three of this to this, this becomes zero. You see, if I multiply equation one by three, I'm gonna have three A minus three A, that's zero, that's gone. This is gonna become six C plus four is gonna be 10 C. And this is three plus zero, that gives me three. So it means that C, that means C is equal to three over 10. So I'm done with that. And from here, I can find what A is by simply saying from this equation, A equals one minus two C, which will be equal to one minus two times, our C is three over 10, right? So this gives me one minus six over 10, which is equal to four over 10. Now, do I wanna simplify four over 10? For the sake of where we're going, I'm going to leave it as four over 10. So let's write the answer here. Is equal to, I wanna start entering all the numbers. So A inverse will be, we got C to be three over 10. We got A to be four over 10. Let's go see what these two B and D will be. We do the same thing. 
We're going to now focus on the second column. Take the first row, multiply the second column. Let's do that here. We're going to have this times this is going to be B, and 2 times the plus 2D will be equal to this entry, 0. And we're going to take this and multiply this. It's going to be minus 3B and 4D plus 4D. In this case, it will be equal to 1, the last entry. We solve it just the way we did this again. So this is going to be 10. 10D equals, we multiply this by 3, but it's 0. 0 plus 1 is just 1. So that means D equals 1 over 10. We know that B will be equal to, if we move this here, it becomes minus 2D. So this is equal to minus 2 times 1 over 10, which gives us B equals minus 2 over 10. So we've got D and we've got B. So B is minus 2 over 10. Let's put it here. Minus 2 over 10. And what is D? D is 1 over 10. We have found the inverse of this matrix. This is it. Now, if you observe something, each of these has a denominator, which is 10. We could pull out that 1 over 10. Okay, so let's work on that here. A inverse is equal to, let's assume I factor out 1 over 10, the scalar, because the scalar multiplies everything, this is going to be 1 over 10. And what's going to be left in inside? On the inside will be 4. Here it's going to be minus 2. Here it's going to be 3. Here it's going to be 1. I want you to look at this matrix carefully and compare it to the original matrix here. What do you see? It looks like we have switched the entries along the diagonal. Do you see that? And it looks like we did not switch the entries along the other diagonal. We didn't switch them, but we switched something. We switched the signs. So that is the formula we're working on. And then there's a guy standing out here. What is this 10 really? Think about it. We just learned about determinants. This 10 is the determinant because it's going to be 1 times 4 minus this product. It's going to be 4 minus minus 6, which is 4 plus 6. That's 10. So we can say that the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix, A inverse, is equal to 1 over the determinant of A multiplied by switching these two, put 4 here, put 1 here, and then changing the signs here, minus, minus 3, minus 2. So it's going to be 1 over 4 minus minus 6, multiplied by this matrix we just created, which is 4, 1, minus 2, and 3. If you do this, this is what you get. So, let's write the formula. So this is the formula you often see written out, but the process of getting it was what we went through when we solved it using algebra. And you want to put this in your head. A cleaner version of this will just be 1 over the absolute value. <laughs> Not absolute value. 1 over the, mat the determinant of A multiplied by this dA minus B minus c. Now, by the way, we could have obtained the inverse using elementary row operations, but that's not the focus of today. The formula is the most important one. So if you ever see a matrix, any matrix that's a two by two matrix, you can quickly compute what the, the inverse of the matrix is. For example, let's just make up one. Let's say that the matrix B is equal to 2, 0, 4, 4 something like this. So what would be the inverse of B using that quick calculation? It's going to be the determinant of this. What is the determinant again? It's going to be 8 minus 0. That's 8. It's 1 over 8. 
and then I'm going to switch these two numbers. This is 4, this is 2, and then I'm going to put a negative here, put a negative here. Well, negative 0 is still 0, and this is negative 4. And you can choose to put these numbers in and have fractions, or you just leave it this way. Let's assume we want to plug in the numbers. Well, 4 divided by 8 is going to be 1 half. 0 divided by 8 is 0. Minus 4 divided by 8 is negative 1 half and 2 divided by 8 is 1 over 4. And that is the matrix by which this will be multiplied and you're going to get the identity matrix for 2 by 2. You try it. Try doing the multiplication. You'll end up with a matrix that looks like this. 1, 0, 0, 1. Remember formula for 2 by 2 matrices. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.